Raise your hand if you've ever Googled yourself. Of course you have. Everyone's doing it from your exes to your employers, and unless you have a super common name like Will Smith, you can probably find out pretty easily what exactly about you is out there online. If you don't share a name with a famous movie star, you can't always control what people see when they Google your name, unfortunately. Just ask former Senator Rick Santorum. If you're curious about how your search compares to those of your friends, there's a Facebook app called Google Greater. Though limited in its usefulness, it'll give you a shallow overview of your online rep and let you compare it to the likes of Bill Gates, Oprah, or your less reputable friends. Once you connect and search, it shows you top results for your name from the good, Twitter, about me, whatever, to the questionable, all girl pizza slot party. You then assign positive, negative, or not me to each result, wait, and wait, and get your score. Hmm, not bad. But to turn that A- into an A, you'll need to get an account with the maker of the app, Brand Yourself, which is one of many reputation management services out there. Others include Search Manipulator, a piece of software that offers help in honing your rep online. These start at 30 bucks for a do-it-yourself kit, all the way up to three grand for the deluxe package, if you've got Santorum levels of cleaning up to do, if you will. Google also has a support tool for polishing up your act, but you'll of course need to have a Google profile. You'll just search for yourself, and if there's a photo or other content you don't want out there, you can use the Me on the Web tool on the dashboard to see about removing it. Basically, you can either contact the owner of the content or request removal of a page, cache page, or image. For Google-hosted content, you'll need some legit legal grounds to do so successfully. As for stuff like search terms, you'll either have to shell out for some software or get everyone you know to repeatedly Google the term you want attached to your name until it becomes a top result. So maybe if we all pitch in and Google Scott Bromley Man of the Year just once, the top search won't be Scott Bromley fired anymore, because for the record, that did not actually happen. Ever been embarrassed by what comes up when you Google yourself? Do you have an online doppelganger who shares your name? Tell us about it in the comments below. And don't forget to check out this morning's episode on where exactly people are Facebooking. The answer might surprise you, or not. You can also enter to be our second contest winner. Click the link to the left or in the show notes below. For TFN, this is Annie.